Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Let's shift our attention completely to another different issue in Shagamu, Oakland State. Uh, we understand that uh, there has been some skirmishes between the police and, uh, in quote, Yahoo Boys. And the police PRO now joins me, Abimbola Oyeyemi. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on Sunrise Daily. What actually is the problem? Did the police lay siege on Yahoo Boys? Thank you very much. The, the event that happened yesterday in, in Shagam, the, the, there are some boys who are suspected to be the secret court member. The, they were holding meeting in an hotel. And in that hotel, they, they rented some rooms there and they don't want to pay. The hotel want to collect the money before they enter into the room. And they were insisting that they will finish using the room before they will pay for the rooms. So from there, 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 there was a problem between them and the hotelier. And uh, the, a team of uh, policemen from anti-pipeline finalization team who are around that time were invited by the hotelier to rescue the, the situation. On getting there, those boys attacked the policemen they, they beat them black and blue. They, they held about two of them hostage. So the remaining one escaped and they, 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 they ran to Sadamu police station. On um, getting the information, the DPO Sadamu police station, SP Moses Adroja, mobilized his men in order to go and rescue the, the, the policemen that are being held hostage in that hotel. On um, getting there, those were attacked, the, the, the DPO and the team. They injured one of the policemen, and uh, that policeman is still in the hospital, as I'm talking to you now. So, but the police from Sadamu police station, they were able to overpower them. They used their guards to dispatch them, and they uh, successfully rescued those uh, two policemen. So were you able to get the identity of, uh, of, of these boys that you say? Are they Yahoo boys or are they a cult group? They are, they are cult groups. They are cult groups, but they are also into Yahoo. So in the night of, the, in the night of that day, they, they, they had meeting somewhere in that, uh, in that community. We, they, and the purpose of that meeting is to attack the police station the following morning. But we are able to get that information. So... We alerted the area commander who was on ground to, to, to coordinate the, the, the whole affair. So, the money, money, true to their meeting, they came out en masse in their hundred and they were moving towards the police station with the sole aim of burning down the police station. We were told this, and the, the, the CP gave directive that the policemen there they should act professionally because he don't want any casualty. They should try as much as possible to be professional in the way they handle the, 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 the matter. So the policemen, you are able to dispatch them because they became so riotous, they are so rude and so violent. Okay. And the people never of them were arrested. They are helping us in our investigation now and they are going to be transferred to the state CID this morning. Okay, we, we get, we get a sense, we, we do get a sense of... Um, your oppressions and uh, how you are able to deal with this situation. I want to thank you so much indeed for uh, giving us uh, an update on that very unfortunate incident in Shagamu involving what he says are Yahoo boys slash cultists uh, attacking the, the Nigerian police uh, station there. Uh, Abimbola Oyeyemi, he's the PRO, Ogun State Police Command. Thank you for talking to us. And that's a wrap on Sunrise Daily. Hoping that you had uh, an interesting time on all the topics we had to focus on today. I'm Gimba Umar. Bye for now. Well, we're still looking forward to your reactions as we discuss the 2018 budget in the coming days. Thank you for watching. I'm Maupe Ogun. Okay.